Boom Supersonic has now repeatedly broken the sound barrier with its XB1 supersonic flight demonstrator, and it managed to do so without generating any audible sonic booms. This is a big deal because noise pollution is a big reason why we don't have supersonic passenger jets flying today. The last time a supersonic airliner was in service, a lot of countries banned it from flying over land because they didn't want to deal with the obnoxious sonic booms. After 27 years of mostly transatlantic services, the Concorde retired in 2003. Limited routes and higher operating costs had made it difficult for airlines to turn a profit. Now more than 20 years later, supersonic air travel might be on the verge of a comeback. That's largely because scientists and engineers have started figuring out how to break the sound barrier more quietly or at least without bothering anybody on the ground. Boom's supersonic aircraft design takes advantage of a physics phenomenon known as Mach cutoff. Mach cutoff occurs when an aircraft generates a sonic boom, but the shock waves refract in the atmosphere and never reach the ground. This happens because the speed of sound varies with the temperature and density of the atmosphere. As the sonic boom moves downward into warmer and denser air, the speed of sound increases and the waves start to bend. With the right combination of flight speed, altitude, and atmospheric conditions, those waves bend so far upward that they turn away from the Earth. Figuring out the right speed and altitude for Mach cutoff requires accurate forecasting of temperatures and wind, both of which affect the speed of sound. Boom Supersonic says the Overture will use an advanced autopilot to automatically calculate the highest speed for so-called boomless crews under current atmospheric conditions. According to Boom, the Overture will be able to fly quietly over land at Mach 1.3, which is about 50% faster than today's airliners. Over water, where loud sonic booms likely won't bother any humans, the Overture could fly up to Mach 1.7. To make sure it had the right recipe for boomless crews, Boom Supersonic placed microphones and sound pressure sensors on the ground along the XB-1's flight path during the supersonic tests. Those microphones did not detect any booms when the XB-1 broke the sound barrier. During its first supersonic test on January 28, 2025, the XB-1 broke the sound barrier not once, not twice, but three times. It reached a speed of Mach 1.12 and an altitude of 35,290 feet. Boom took the XB-1 out for a second supersonic test mission on February 10th, and it broke the sound barrier another three times all without detection by microphones on the ground. That day, it reached an altitude of 36,514 feet and a speed of Mach 1.18. Now the XB-1 is retired, and Boom has gathered all the data it needs to move on to building the full-size Overture airliner. The company plans to roll out the first Overture in 2026, with the first flights to follow in 2027. If all goes according to plan, the Overture could be certified for commercial passenger service by the end of the decade. If you like this video and want to learn more about supersonic flight and other cool aerospace technologies, visit us at AINonline.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.